In this video, we're going to be using Sir Harry's Quartet Barbershop, and we'll be comparing the carbon titanium with the plus plate to the carbon stainless steel with the original plate. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it, and as mentioned before, today we're going to be using Sir Harry's Quartet Barbershop, which is a really, to my nose, unique take on a barbershop scent. Really, really nice scent. You get citrus, you get a sort of powdery vibe to it. Let's put the notes for you on the screen right there. To me, this is unique. It's somewhere in between an old school barbershop like Floyd and something more uh, modern like say Fine American Blend. Powdery, citrusy, a little bit of musk. Not bad at all, lavender. Um, and again, scent strength is good on this one, medium to medium high. I believe this is a vegetable or vegetal base soap. I did not see tallow in the ingredients. We'll put the ingredients for you right there. So I didn't see tallow, so I'm going to assume this is vegetable or vegetal or something like that. I don't know that it's vegan, but anyway, it made it a great lather easily. There you see it in our Captain's Choice Copper Bow. It wasn't finicky. The consistency of the soap is quite firm, so I used under a half teaspoon and made plenty of lather volume with no problem. I really enjoyed lathering this. It was really Nice indeed. The cost on this is $16 for four ounces. And on our cost chart there, that is a fair price at four ounces. And I got this at Pastors. I'd never heard of it. And one of the really interesting things about this soap is, and uh, reading a little bit about it, is they offer a guarantee within 30 days. I have never, ever, ever seen a satisfaction guarantee on a soap. On a soap. <laughs> so they're, they're very confident that you're going to like it. So we'll see. We'll see how we feel about Sir Harry's. Um, today we're going to be comparing the carbon in titanium with the plus plate and the carbon in stainless steel with the original plate. Now this is not an apples to apples comparison because I'm using the plus plate against the original. But I wanted to use them both and just see which uh, I prefer. The Carbon TI, of course, is an expensive razor, $349.99. The Stainless, $279.99. Now, one of the things I want to point out here is, you see the bottom of that plate? It's got some cutouts. This particular one, which is the original plate, he's not making that exact same design now. He's making one now that's called the Web. I'm going to put a couple of photos on the screen there as I talk about it. And it has more cutouts than the one that I have right here. So, if you have an original carbon now with this plate, which has a few cutouts, but not as many as the web, uh, as you see there on the screen, then you kind of have some un unobtainium now because he doesn't plan to make these old school plates anymore. The plate's the same minus all those cutouts. It's lightening it up a little bit. Anyway, 279 for the stainless steel uh, web version, which is the only thing you can get now. 349 for this one. The blade gap on the plus plate is 0.88. The blade gap on the original, 0.68. Now, the original has a little more blade exposure. The plus, a little less. Um, the TI one uh, weighs about 1.8 ounces. And the uh, stainless weighs about 3.1 ounces. And that is 51 grams for titanium and 88 grams for stainless. So, definitely, it's going to be more heavy on the stainless. I mean, that's a no-brainer. And before we get into lathering, I want to do a little bit of uh, housekeeping here and just mention that today, Take Care Man is having a uh, live stream on Instagram, and you can find him at TakeCareMan.com, where he's doing a mental health podcast. Peter Chuck Ellis and uh, Jay Mack from the Canadian Mafia will be on that podcast, along with the Canadian, um, the opinionated Brit, not the Canadian Brit, <laughs> the, the opinionated Brit. So we uh, encourage you to go check that out. They're going to be talking about, in part, a soap that Peter Chuck Ellis made with the Razor Company a charity um, that where the proceeds go for suicide pre uh, prevention. So if you're interested, go to TakeCareMan.com and check that out or follow him on Instagram and check that out. Okay, let's move on and let's get into the shave because that's what we're here for. All right, we have almost 24 hours of growth there if you can see a little bit of the salt there and let's get to, let's get to going because we're gonna have a long video because it's four minutes and we haven't done a thing. The brush for today, is the Erskine or Erskine uh, 150. I got this from uh, Neil Breed. He sent this to me to try out. And I've only used it once and today I was like, hey, let's use that. Let's see, let's see what we think about it. I did enjoy my first run with it. Nice hydration in that leather. 
All right, very nice. Very nice indeed. Really like this. This is a different, there's so many barbershop scents on the market that smell similar. This one is something different and it is a brand that I've never used. So I'm, I'm really anxious to see how the shave goes. I can tell you right now, judging from the lather, I expect to have a very good experience with it. I do not foresee any problems in terms of lather. Um, I'm not feeling anything, you know, in terms of anything out of whack on my face, like frag burn or anything like that, or sensitivity to it. it smells great. It really is unique, and I like that. It's kind of hard to find a unique barbershop scent these days because there's so many, you know, it's kind of... But this one, I think, really hits the mark. And I got this again at Pastor's shaving which they're online now if you didn't know that so let's see how we do with sir harry's today i'm really looking forward to it really looking forward to putting these carbons up against each other as well but keep in mind i'm just spraying that uh, lather down my handle a little bit so it doesn't creep up on me <laughs> anyway keep in mind this is not an apples to apples comparison because the plus has a uh uh, different blade gap and less exposure. And of course the original has less. Uh, well, let's, what we like to do is sort of take a few strokes. This is the original, by the way, Astra SP blades, brand new loaded in both of these. And so, okay. So right now, before I take very many strokes, I can tell you right now the uh, plus plate, it feels more efficient to me right off the bat. So let's go ahead and use our standard plate over here, which I like a lot. There's some good um, blade feel on the standard offering and it is efficient still, even though it's the regular original offering, it's not particularly mild. It's efficient. Again, keep in mind the one I have here and the one you probably have, unless you've got a carbon recently, Unless it has that many, many cutouts on the bottom, like I showed you before, they're not making this particular plate in this, you know, the, the new ones have additional cutouts. So if that sounds great to you, wonderful. And if it doesn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> but either way, I love this one anyway. This is the stainless steel I'm using on this side. And uh, I love it. This is a fantastic razor. All right. Very nice on that side. No problems, no roughness. Really, really nice indeed. So let's go to the titanium, which I thought right away I could feel a little more efficiency. Very nice. I know I can hear a little bit more on this one, feedback-wise. You may not be able to. see when we get down here. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can. Oh man. It's going to be hard to, uh, <laughs> it's going to be hard for me to figure out which one I prefer because both are feeling very, very nice. Oh man, both smooth. I'm inclined to believe that I sort of favor the plus, um, but you know, could be wrong. Let's uh, let's rinse here and get another pass in and, and see how it goes. The soap, by the way, which we didn't discuss much in that first pass. Fantastic, Plen plenty of slickness, no problems whatsoever. No bubbles, no troubles there on that first pass. The brush here is really nice. This one is, um, it's got some backbone to it. I don't need as much backbone as it offers. I don't know which knot he put in this one, but I do uh, I do like the brush. It's very nice. Really like that retro handle. This is the, again, the replica of the Erskine 150, I believe it is, or something like that. Let's get this lather on quickly so we don't make a super long video. I wanna thank you all for joining me once again. Really appreciate you. If you have not subscribed or followed the social media accounts, I invite you to do so. Subscribe because I got a lot of content coming. This is a nice, friendly place if you're a shaving enthu enthusiast or you want to learn about traditional shaving. No judgment here. If you want to use a carp, we are okay with that. This is a safe haven 
folks who want to uh, who want to learn about traditional shaving or share your thoughts and ideas. So long as that we, so long as we are civil and uh, being nice, you have a you have a place here, and you are most welcome. Oh man, uh, let's! I'm, I'm boy, I was looking forward to this shave. So let's pick up the pace just a little bit because we've done a lot of talking and we need to get down to business here. So we're gonna go across the grain on the cheeks here. And that feels beautiful. Love the carbon razor. It is terrific in the soap. Plenty slick enough, no problems. Really enjoying the soap as well. I love the scent on this. It is very nice. I don't know or I don't remember if Sir Harry's had uh, aftershave splashes. I don't recall. I'll have to go back and look. But the first time I try something, I usually just like to try the soap and see if I like the scent, you know, unless I know it's going to be a home run. And I was totally unsure of this, um, of this brand because I'd never used it before. So you have to try something before you can decide, you know, and I have to say my initial impressions are good on Sir Harry's. Ease of use was great. Scent is great. Cost is fair, you know. So we're looking up. Oh man, what a shaver this is. It's really hard for me to decide between them. That's the problem. So the so if I were asked which one would I pick, I would say I don't want to be without any, either one of these razors because I love the stainless. I love, I probably slightly prefer this one because of that plus plate. Um, can you hear that? I don't know if you can or not, but I kind of slightly prefer this plus plate, but overall, I think it's just both razors are winners. Now, carbon is definitely pricey. That's that is something you you have to consider. Now, I will I will uh, also let you know though. He does offer shop pay, which which will let you break it down into four payments if you want to do it that way. So that that sort of helps because you know. Almost three hundred dollars or three fifty is a you know three fifty for the TI, um, two eighty for the stainless. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. So I realize that you know some people just can't plunk plunk that down at one time. So if you want to break it up and use the shop pay option, it's there for you. All right, and I like options. Yeah, you know I always like options. I've had a really nice experience today with Sir Henry's. And the uh, Heritage Collection first kind brush. I like it. Again, for me, um, I prefer knots that are a little bit less, have a little less backbone. But since I'm painting, it's no problem. It's no problem. The Cashmere Knot from AP Shape Co. is my favorite knot, period. Sinbad is another favorite of mine. You know, the Plusoft type knots are great for me. Um, since I make my lather and paint my face. I don't really need a lot of backbone. And in fact, I usually try to avoid it because I'm not looking to scrub my face with a shaving brush. I scrub in the shower prior to shave and do all of that there. But my need for a brush is just to make a lather and apply it to the face. The most important factor for me, or a couple of factors or features that are important to me in brushes is it needs, the tips need to be very soft. I want luxury softness on my face. And I want the brush to let go of the lather easily. And I want the brush to splay well. If they do those things, then we're good. I don't need a lot of backbone. I don't wanna to have to use a lot of force to splay the brush. I want to splay easily. All right, that is nice. I tell you what, I've been impressed with Sir Harry's today. So I will be checking out more, most likely. It is a new brand to me. I know before uh, others um, have commented that they liked it. And if you have used Harry's before, um, comment below and let me know what you think. I am curious to see what your thoughts are. Also, if you're a fan of the carbon, comment below. Let me know what your favorite carbon razor is, what configuration you like, what plate. I'm curious to see how many carbon owners we have in the audience there. It is a terrific razor. Really, the only drawback is it's pricey. I mean... And let's be honest, all the premium razors are pricey. This one's a little more pricey than a lot of the others. Um, 
unless you're talking about, you know, Wolfman or something like that. So this one's definitely pricey, and I resisted getting one, honestly. But when I tried uh, Nate from BBS Live, Low Sense Color Tours, he sent me his to try. I was like, I got to get that razor. It's awesome. <laughs> and even though this handle's a little longer than I typically like, I love this handle. It's one of my favorite handles. The Carbon is a terrific razor. And I'm really having trouble today deciding which one I like better. Because one has more exposure, one has more blade gap. Both, for me, are super smooth shavers. I think I slightly, and I mean by a whisker, <laughs> prefer the TI with the plus plate. Again, I would tell you this, if, if you already have a stainless steel carve and you're 100% satisfied with that and you don't want, you're not just looking to try something different, I don't think the titanium renders your stainless obsolete because the stainless is still excellent. But if you wanted to, to shave with the carbon a little less weight, then you could try the titanium and see how you feel about it. I think I slightly prefer it, but it's mostly, I think because the plus plate, I think if I had a plus plate in the, uh, Stainless, I think I would like it too, so. I don't know that it's the titanium that's that's swaying me, although I do love titanium. I think either, either way you go with carbon, you have a fantastic shaver, you know. And it's one of those sort of, you have to look at a premium razor, any premium razor as a lifetime investment and one that you'll take care of and pass down. Man, I'm gonna tell you. This was an enjoyable shave. <laughs> All right, let me uh, let me rinse and we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, we are back and Akim, we did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we applied our PA alum, no stinging. So it was super smooth on both sides. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then tiled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel Magic because it's made by witches. I had an excellent shave today. First run ever with Sir Harry's, and I enjoyed it. Quartet Barbershop is really good. If you're looking for a unique take on Barbershop, something original, check this out. It is available at Pastors and probably other places as well, but Pastors is where I got it. In terms of the carbon, TI with the plus plate versus stainless steel with the standard plate, both are excellent razors. It's not an apples to apples comparison because they're different plates. The plus, to me, I slightly prefer the plus plate, I like more efficiency. I think it gives a little more efficiency, but both razors are winners. I don't think if you own a stainless steel carbon, the titanium makes it obsolete. I think it's still a magnificent shaver. And if you have one of the older ones without the additional cutouts, then you might be holding a little bit of unobtainium there, as I said before, because he's not making this particular plate without the new cutout. So you might want to hold on to that or maybe sell it, who knows? <laughs> anyway, both razors are winners. Expensive, but magnificent shavers. I slightly prefer this one. Um, what it comes down to is that plus plate. But I think if you're somebody who's looking for, you don't like the heft of stainless steel, then obviously titanium is a great choice, although it is expensive. So there is something to consider. Uh, we had a wonderful go with our Erskine brush and it's in our Lancaster uh, brush soaking mug, captain's choice bowl. And we're gonna finish it out today with the Razor Rock Blue Barbershop which is a fantastic barbershop scent. I absolutely love it. It's reminiscent of Floyd Blue, but I think it actually smells better than Floyd Blue. I love it, I love it. It's very bright, it's very nice, and man, whew, it'll get your day going. Thanks so much for joining me, I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.